What's going on my tech friends? This is the only tech bus. So today I have a special video for you guys. So as you guys know, I did uh, kind of like a leak video, like all you need to know about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. So as you guys know, the first one came out, the Mark 1 came out, which was just called the Sony Xperia 1, which will be down in the description, um, down in the um, description section below. And also I did a video of this up and coming Mark II, which you can click up there, you can click on that video and check that video out, and I'll be linking it down in the description as well. But yeah, I got the phone here, we're gonna be unboxing it, and we'll be doing a review on it as well, not on this video, on a separate video. But yeah, I can't wait to see what's in this box. It's been so hyped up, yeah, and it's just amazing. Hopefully this video does as well as my other one did, because when I unboxed the, the first generation, it got a lot of views so hopefully this video gets a lot of views and if also if I get about if I get 20 likes I will give this bad boy away <laughs> hands down anyway without further ado I got my unboxing knife ready to clack slice this boy open but before that cue the b-roll So, I've got my knife, like I said, and we have the box here. The box is nice. What can I say is nice. It's a white box. Um, yeah, I'm checking my, obviously, the build quality of the box, and it looks nice. Like Samsung phones, this this has one stick sticker just on one side, on one side of the box. And then, what I look for in quality on phones is, if it has one sticker holding the phone, holding the box together, I kind of like to do this to see if it's slightly dropped down or if it's intact. And this one is, so that's how I know this is going to be a premium phone. It's got a 12 megapixel, megapixel camera, um, 12 megapixel camera all around. So for the for the normal aperture, and then the wide angle, and then the ultra wide angle, or the zoom lens, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, it's got a triple camera set up, all 8 megapixel at the back, and then 8 megapixel at the front for your selfie camera, and it's got a 4K HDR OLED screen, and uh, it's, it has 4,000 milliamp of battery, and it's running the Quadcom Snapdragon 865, and also is IP65 slash 68 water resistant. So all this information I'm reading out to you guys slightly making me remember about the video the leaks i actually did on this phone which were right because it says it on the box here and yeah it's got nfc it's got the bluetooth it's got um, a micro sd slot wi-fi wi ca capable obviously and yeah it's nice we just have um the logo on the front there on the side on this side as well and also at the bottom here so let's crack this box open so get my big ass knife boom just like that just. Ooh. wow the box phone manufacturers are actually getting it on point now with the boxes because the box is the first thing you see on a phone and if it's not high quality then What's, then the inside is not going to be high quality. The box is very high quality. I'm a big fan of boxes. I like to keep these boxes. They're really, really nice. Let's put that aside. As you can see, I got the IKEA plant over there. And yeah, this is what we're greeted with at the moment. So let's grab this out. Wow. Can I just say the phone is very long? That 29 by 9 asset, asset, asset. Upset ratio, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a very long phone. Bear that in mind. But yeah, it looks it looks awesome. The renders of the the the, rend, the leaks of the renders look exactly what it what it is. But we could put, put that to the side for now. And then in the box, we just have uh, what do we have? We have some what's this? 
Oh, oh, okay. This is nice, this is nice. Tells you how to set up the phone, how to put your SIM card in, all that shizzle with the nizzness. But yeah, we take Guru here. We don't, we don't, we don't need to check any of this out, you know, because we know what we're doing. And then, uh, what's this? Ah, uh, I don't even know what this is. Um, I don't know. It's just some paper that we don't really need. And then inside here, you take that out. Wow, look at the layout. Look at the layout. Just look at the layout. That is a beautiful layout. Anyway, so we have the power brick, which extends for when you want to charge it up. It, you pull it, extend, should put it in the wall. And wow, I just noticed this actually uses a USB-C port to, um, instead of the USB port. It uses the USB port, which is, yeah, which is pretty cool. It's what everyone's using at the moment, which is nice. And also, it's, this brick here is 18 watts, which is pretty damn cool. Yep. 18 watts um, power brake. Obviously, if you want to do fast charging, it doesn't come with this, but if you want to do fast charging, you can buy a fast charge charging um, well, um, adapter and you can charge the phone, rapid charge or wire or fast charging or whatever. So in here we have the nice, the charging cable, which is of course USB. You can see the USB to obviously USB as well. Let's show you that. Oh God. So yeah, USB to USB just right there. So yeah, it's all good. Um, then in here we have the headphones. Ooh, which looks pretty cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. You get some ear tips with it as well, as you can see there. Ear tips. And you get this little, little hook thing just in there as well, which I believe is for you know, hooking it on like that to keep it, keep the headphones steady when it's in your ear. And here we have the headphones. It looks pretty cool. Oh wow, that looks nice. Looks very, very modern, which is a nice touch. And obviously you got your ear tips as well, so you can fit your comfort for your ears. In case you have um, weird ears, you can match your ear tips with that and uh, yeah that's pretty much all that's in the box and anyway, let's put all this aside and let's check out the actual phone so let's slide it out Ooh, ooh, wow 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 i think i might have to rock this the s10 plus i've been actually i've been using the galaxy z flip at the moment but this maybe i have to use because this reminds me of the um, what's it called? The iPhone 12, which they want to bring, they want to bring the iPhone 4 back to the iPhone 12 and make it the same, like, as in that boxy kind of square, squarish kind of look, which is pretty cool. I mean, looking at looking at it at, on this, it looks really nice. It looks really, really damn nice on this. So yeah, I'm looking forward for that for the iPhone 12 to come out because the whole kind of square rectangle look feeling it looks nice it looks really really good so right let's let's go through a little bit about the um, the it, there's a lot going on on this phone <laughs> there's a lot going on, on this one so on the side here i do i believe this is your sim injector and yep yeah your sim injector and your micro sd slot which is right there and also it yeah it's being protected as well by a rubber seal because obviously this device is is obviously waterproof and then um, yeah oh my leaks were right as well headphone jack as you can see down there we have the headphone jack right there and then you have the top mic which is on there as well and then moving on to the side we have the wow well, that's 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 quite a small <laughs> volume up and down key so up there we have the volume up and down and then on here we have the power on and power off, which I believe is a fingerprint scanner as well. Just like the Z Flip. Yep, just like the Z Flip right there, but the Sony is slightly a bit more thicker. So you've got your 
fingerprint scanner on the side there, which is pretty cool. And then down here, I believe that's your that's your shutter button uh, for when you go to take pictures. So when you have it landscape, you can and take a picture quick time. And then at the bottom, we have the USB Type C um, female port to charge your phone up, plus the bottom mic as well. And yeah. To be honest with you, the design of the phone is amazing. It's, it's just it's so minimalistic, but you have all the ports. So instead of having the port on the for the for the headphone on the top, no, instead of having it at the bottom, they put it on the top, which cleans the whole side of the phone up a little bit, which is nice. It's very very nice. But yeah, it's a it's a really good phone. It, it, to me, I'm already impressed. Let's just peel off this annoying thing. Wow, that's cool. Wow, look at that fresh. Wow, I love what what Sony's done with this phone. I'm not really a big fan of Sony, but boy oh boy, I am loving this. This looks absolutely incredible. Like the whole, the, the way the screen is put on the actual chassis of the phone is just, it is, it's just, mm, mwah. It is, it is absolutely amazing. Like the Nigeria people would say, but yeah, it is amazing phone. And up front, you obviously you got the webcam, the the speaker up top as well, and at the bottom as well, we have a bottom speaker as well. So I'm just looking around the phone. There's there's no actual place. There's no speaker grill. So I believe this the 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 audio comes out from the bottom. This is the the the, the grill at the bottom. The bottom here. It's the main speaker which fires out towards you or up depending on how you have it flat or towards your face and you get a little bit more of a sound coming out from the top speakers up there which is yeah which is which is pretty cool and don't forget wow that freaking rare camera look at that that looks the bollocks literally that looks like that looks like it's ready to go the camera looks like it's ready to go um the camera in this is actually expired from the red, not from the red camera, but from Sony's professional big cameras like cinema, cinema, cinematography um, cameras. It's actually expired from that and it's been put in here. And I believe there should be a separate app on this phone to access that, obviously to access that portion of the camera. Little bit of a, little bit of a, of a, when I just noticed, it does take a while till it boots up. I just press the, just take a couple of seconds till it boots up pressing that, that, um, what do you call it, that power on button, which is no big deal because you're not really going to be having the phone often, I mean, often not all the time, but only if you go to school or whatever and you don't want it to distract your work. But yeah, stock Android, which looks pretty damn cool. But yeah, as you can see, it, it's just, I'm just going to quickly set it all up real quickly. Skip. Mm. It smells, it smells, I don't know, it's, it's, there's a smell that I'm getting, there's a strong smell I'm getting from it, like a really, really nice, like a newish kind of feel, like, smell to it, which is really, really nice. I'm just going to set it all up. Oh, wow. Boom. Oh, my God. It looks absolutely amazing. Obviously, you scroll up, you see all the apps, and then you've got your home screen here, Looks, which looks, which looks absolutely raw, raw the problem about, about this phone for people that have this phone is it's too it's too long but for me it's nice there's the because it's big there's just a there's a there's a security there that if you hold the phone you're not going to be dropping it. it it feels robust it feels really really it doesn't even feel like a long phone it just feels amazing in the hand and obviously you got the the camera pro app there as well obviously for yeah sweet to obviously utilize that that whole um um obviously to utilize the the camera that brought into the phone basically from the big camera as you can see that it tells you a little bit about tells you a little bit about what's going on and stuff like that which yeah that is pretty damn cool you can wow wow and also this shoots 4k video so i think this this could could potentially be my secondary camera because it shoots 4K. Wow, the resolution, the resolution's already, and it's, it, it almost looks like 
you're shooting you're shooting raw already which is freaking i can't get it to focus right now but oh grab no okay i just grabbed something <laughs> i don't know wow that looks amazing i don't even know if you guys can see me but that looks amazing anyway guys that's been the, the unboxing on the sony xperia one mark ii but yeah guys like i said to you if you want to watch the videos about the leaks video i did and also the sony xperia one it's all going to be down there in the description section below. But yeah, anyway, without further ado, it's been me, your boy. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.